Yeah. And you, I want to share a story from one of your live events that I attended to, and you had a number of private investors uh, at the event. And then afterwards, we, we all had sat and had dinner and I'm sitting beside this little old lady. She must have been 90. <laughs> and because a lot of what you've been talking about is great for the investor. It's great for uh, for you. It's it's great for the person that's selling the house. Uh, but one of the things that you never talk about, and I think we should talk about more, is it's also great for the community. And what this lady said really stuck with me. She said, you know, I was watching Jay for years and years and years before I actually gave him my money. And and she said, and, and what I was watching was what he was doing. And he would go into a neighborhood that was a little bit rough, and he would fix up this house and it would be beautiful. And then he got people into the house who, you know, lovely little family, you know, family of four, family of three, and they would look after that house and they kept it beautiful. And I saw him improve neighborhoods over and over and over again. And I thought, wow, he's really, you know, giving the community a good service. And I, I think I'm going to give him my money. And she, I'm sure she was 10, 20 years giving you her money. <laughs> but I'd really, that story really stuck with me, right? It's like, it's because we just talk about rehabbing houses and like, what does that mean? And the houses that I've seen that you rehab, they're beautiful homes. And sometimes they're in really nice neighborhoods. Sometimes they're in a little rougher neighborhoods. But how do you improve a neighborhood? It's like one house at a time. And you're going in and you're doing that. And I think you're making a big difference in your community. And that's the other really strong benefit of the work that you do, in my opinion. Yeah, well, and what you just said uh, reminds me of this, and that is, you know, a lot of times what we do, real estate investors get a bad rap, get a bad name, you know, um, out there to take advantage of people, et cetera. And uh, as I say all the time, I mean, mine and Carol Joy's frame of mind and, and all of my students, you know, I tell my students, I say, look, particularly if they're brand new, I'll say, look, um, if you don't have a servant's heart and you're not here to actually make a difference and improve people's lives, then I don't recommend you get in this business. I mean, there's so many people that actually come out winning uh, when you do this business right. You know, like if, if I'm buying a, a house with private money, first of all, the private money uh, lender, the individual wins because they're not going to get these types of returns that we pay through any other type of, you know, investment return. Um, the person that we're buying the property from, they win, they had a problem. We were the solution to their problem by being able to buy the property without them having to do anything to it. Uh, a lot of homes we sell on rent to own or lease purchase, you know, right now, 82% of the population can't even go to the local bank or a mortgage company and get a mortgage. Well, we sell a lot of homes on rent to own to where we actually help the people uh, in credit repair while they're living in the home, get ready for a mortgage. So they win. We've given them a path to home ownership that they couldn't enjoy any other way. Yeah. And then we, as the real estate investor, we win by being like the orchestra director that uh, makes all this happen. And your community wins because they have a nice home where it was a piece of junk before. Exactly.